Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Michael, the one, the only, the Iron Horse Historian, on this first edition of Subscriber Choice Summer, and thanks to Aaron Stewart, we will be talking about the EMD GP30. Unveiled around the same time as the GP20, the GP30 was part of EMD's second generation of diesel electrics. Compared to earlier models, the GP30 had a flush nose design and a bulge above the cab. Speaking of cab design, the GP30 would set a precedent with all future Jeeps featuring similar square front noses. The main competition to the GP30 was the GE U25B, which was released in spring of 1959. On the inside, the GP30 came out with a 567D3 16-cylinder engine, which had better horsepower output compared to the 567D2 engine. They also came out with four General Motors D57 traction motors, a GM D22 main generator, all encased in a low or high hood shell, and ran on a B-B wheelbase. At a top speed of 65 miles per hour, a starting tractive effort of 60,500 pounds and a continuous tractive effort of 50,000 pounds. Each GP30 weighed in at 260,000 pounds, measured in at 56 feet 2 inches, and for the horn, they came built with a Leslie 3 chime. A total of 28 railroads ran the GP30. These include, but are not limited to, the Alaska Railroad, the Louisville and Nashville, and the Kansas City Southern. Out of all 28, the railroad with the largest fleet was the Southern Railway with a total of 120. The railroad with the second largest fleet was the Union Pacific with a grand total of 112, and the Santa Fe had a total of 85 GP30s. The GP30 was an excellent improvement over previous Jeeps. It had 250 more horsepower than the GP20 and had an airtight hood which kept out dirt and dust from damaging internal components. While it may not have been the best seller, EMD did manage to sell a grand total of 906 units. While time may not be the kindest to these workhorses, many have made it into preservation and some are still in service on Class 1s such as BNSF. While this may change, as of 2022, 25 GP30s are currently preserved throughout North America. These include, but are not limited to, Conrail number 2233 at the Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania in Strasburg, Pennsylvania, Cotton Belt number 5006 at the Arkansas Railroad Museum in Pine Bluff, Arkansas, and Union Pacific 844, not to be confused with the 844 steam locomotive, which had to be renumbered to 8444 because of this, can be found at the Nevada State Railroad Museum in Boulder City, Nevada.